Welcome to Tran Plays Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires. This is a post commentary. I had to find a way to compromise with family in the area and getting recording done in a timely manner. The date of this recording is August 2nd. The date of this post commentary or editing is August 4th. Now, I wasn't entirely sure if I should be leaving these battles in, so for the quest battle, this, this particular quest battle, I sped it up a lot. And for the next quest battle, I cut out pretty much everything, except for the very end of it. Because there's going to be a lot of fighting, don't you worry about that. But the question is, is that fun to watch? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not fun to watch if it's on easy mode, for example. I'm also thinking about switching characters pretty regularly. I didn't during this playthrough because I'm trying to get people to have a higher relationship status and I don't know if I have to have the main character be there for that. Now I've gone ahead and gone done a, done a reading out of everything in the tutorial menu that I've unlocked. So I can insert that in periods where I have nothing useful to say. In this case here, I'm showing that I'm trying to find how to get that one title that required me to have five people confess their love for me. And I need Unparalleled Achiever to go with it to get that way of life. Uh, so in this case, I, I try to quest for other Vagabond teams. I'm trying to get Vagabonds that really, really like me. And I don't know if I, they will invite me because I am the leader of my own Vagabond team. So here I'm, I'm defeating... Defeating, uh, raiding an armory so that I can get a, a new buddy, and it doesn't really change anything. So I try al allying with him. Request for reinforcements. When you invade another kingdom, if you have an alliance with another kingdom, you can request that they send reinforcements to help you. The Allied Kingdom must be next to your own kingdom, or the region you are invading, in order for them to send reinforcements. Since I don't see any quests, I go ahead and take another turn to ally with him again. I use the same tactic as before because it has the highest success rate. So we're buddies for six months now. The weird thing is that he becomes my enemy later, and I haven't done anything to him. She looks really old compared to her parents. And I may have messed up her name because there's a bunch of spaces there. That being said, I believe that when she becomes an edit officer at the conclusion of the game, I, I can rename her. And I've gone ahead and renamed Blood Moon, Van, and Fossil to a more Chinese appropriate name. So you'll, you'll see that later. Making purchases. You can obtain weapons from a blacksmith, equipable items from an item shop, and stratagems from an academy. The quality and volume of products on sale depends on how many of those facilities you have in your kingdom. In addition, the products created will depend on the regions you rule. If you are a free officer or Vagwan unit, moving to an area controlled by a force that has many facilities will allow you to make use of them. I am a little, I guess, under the weather right now. Uh, so when I was recording those tutorial messages outside of this post commentary, so that I can just insert them wherever I have blank spots, um, or where I can plan blank spots, I kept falling, finding myself short of breath. Like, I'd have to stop and breathe. I'd have to catch my breath after reading a couple lines. It was kind of, um... Tasking, I guess. Uh, I just hope that uh, I get better soon. So I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Because I, I want Vagabonds to like me. Personnel. Interact. Use Interact to increase your friendship with a specific officer. 
officers you have a high friendship with are more likely to bring other officers into your kingdom and may request a sworn sibling oath or marriage with you. So I'll go ahead and start interacting with them to raise that relationship status. And it doesn't really affect us much. Now maybe I didn't wait long enough, maybe I didn't try hard enough, but I raise my relationship status with this guy to A, and then I try going beyond that. Battle. Quests. Accept quests occurring in each region and fight a battle accordingly. Successfully completing a quest will increase your friendship with the officer who made it, and provide you with rewards such as resources and weapons, merits, and may also cause new quests to appear. Yes, yeah, so I do a couple quests there, and... I get a false lead. That guy had interrupted me, and I thought that I thought that uh, I'd be able to get. A, I thought he was going to vagabond recruit me, so I go to dismiss, and I can't dismiss any of my family. I can't become a lone wolf. So I go back to my plan of being buddies with Kai Yang because you know he's just a vagabond leader. Nothing. Personnel. Dismiss. Dismiss offers the following commands to expel an officer from your kingdom or vagabond unit. Banish. Release target officer as a free officer. Execute. Execute the target officer. Alright, Kaya, let's be buddies. Me, you, friends forever, what do you say? It'd be a mistake to turn me down. I make a mistake here, so I left it in. I underestimated his line of sight. And there's Zun Yu, who's uh, the mascot for Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires. I start getting a little flustered here, just trying to figure out what I can do. Then I decide, you know what, I'm just going to try to end the game as fast as possible by winning it, so I can move on to a harder difficulty or go into ambition mode in Extreme Legends. I don't want to have three different Dynasty Warrior gameplays running at once. Two is enough. So I'm doing Empires and then the Lulu playthrough. So here I'm raising my banner, I'm taking all my my entire Vagabond unit and I'm, I'm stocking them up. There is a button for max troop alignment, but I couldn't find it on the controller. In the future I will be letting go of the controller to hit that button, but otherwise... I didn't immediately spot it, and I'm hesitant to hit every button on the controller because I know there's a combination that resets it, and I believe it's both control sticks down at once. From the August 2nd session, I become what I believe is a fairly stratagem addicted. 
I, I get a lot of practice in with it. I'm not going to say I'm an expert at using them, but I'm, I, I'm pretty good at uh, utilizing them. The difference is, I'm not claiming that I'm the expert at using stratagems yet. I will endeavor to become more proficient at them, but for the time being, you're going to see that I start teleporting all over the map as the session goes on. Not necessarily in this episode, where I'm just kind of getting a hang of these new stratagems that I hadn't used prior. Uh, for example, I still don't know where I end up when I use Swift Raid, which says it teleports me to the front lines. Transformation teleports me to the main camp, which uh, has its own uses. Right, so here I'm looking for the enemy Chen Zhao, because that's my victory condition. I don't see him. Battle objectives. Prior to fighting a battle, you can set battle objectives for it. Completing battle objectives during a battle will reward you with merits. Take your own fighting style into account when setting them, and aim to complete as many as possible during each battle. So what's going to happen is, he will reveal himself towards the end, and then I'll punch him in the face, he'll die, and then we'll move on. I, I can't. I couldn't figure out how to change the game to a good level, and I didn't really feel like starting over. Here, I select like defend immediately because I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pave the way. Now, see if I were a better here, I probably use. I probably would have used transformation and warp to the bottom left instead. But not only am I not totally familiar with the symbols yet on the map. Yeah, I've never really used transformation um, in any reasonable capacity that has allowed me to learn it. I run around his body real quick to see if there's any pickups, and then just move on. There's this little region here. I get confused by it for a while. I think I pick it up like by the end of the session that I kind of had that area figured out. So I've given uh, my units red and yellow, very similar to the Blood Moon's old outfit. There's not as much yellow in his outfit, it's more like yellow trim. Oh, and I also try out my different Musu attacks here, because I, uh, I, I realized that I looked at the move list, and I tried to figure out how they work, and uh, I realized that I think my wife gave me some really effeminate <laughs> moves for my character, so, because that, I guess she, that's how she views me. Now, the reason I'm not using the weapon she gave me is because that's just a low-level basic weapon with no elements. This is like a level 5 weapon with lots of elements. So if I can get my hands on a uh, moon blade or whatever it's called, then yeah, I'll use that. I should probably switch up my weapons more often though, but I end up using the sword for the whole playthrough. For, for this session, that is. I think it's around now I start considering whether or not I want to tell my allies to advance, because now the enemies are respawning. I'm not particularly worried about whether or not I can handle them, 
It is easy mode. And they do fall in about two hits. advance after I mop up the guy in front of him. So they'll catch up to me in a second. I like this little scene. My army has a kindly approach just as I finish doing my my fan moves here. So they just like pour through the gates. And I did my first husband wife team up combo right there. And she was also the one leading the army into through the gates to support Blood Moon. So that, that was that, I like that scene. I don't know why. Just the, that, that whole base capture right there. Now what I like to do is I like to keep turning on my zoomed in net mode, but the game likes to keep pulling me out. Uh, I like the zoom in net mode so I can have like an incredible peripheral vision, essentially. Alright, so if I, if I were better at the cards, I would have possibly used Swift Raid here, but I wanted to end up in the upper left, and there's no guarantee Swift Raid would have dropped me there. I don't know what it would define as the front lines. Probably the area in the upper right. Because that's where my army's headed, but their army's headed in the upper left. Anyways, I'm heading to go deal with those officers. Capturing bases. Enter an enemy base, and the base information will be displayed in the top center of the screen. The number represents the durability of the base, and will decrease as soldiers inside the base are defeated. You can capture the base by reducing it to zero. Bases with spot turrets will subject you to a powerful raid of arrow. If you have a stratagem that is effective against spot turrets, such as catapult or fire attack, use it as quickly as possible to destroy the fortifications. I always think it's a little weird that he says he occupies it for the glory of his leader. Zushu is not one of my members. He's uh, reinforcements from my alliances. And here I'm kind of surprised that uh, my team accomplishes anything. I I I'm used to them never doing anything except losing battles. branched off, I wiped out the top left side of the map, and my army comes rejoining me here at this corner of this already. I try out my uh, 
switch weapon moves to attack, and I don't get a good chance to really see what it does here, because it takes out Shen Zhao immediately, and the battle is over. We now form a kingdom. Those aren't my banners or troops, by the way. 